Alright, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, Yost. Yeah, and I do hope you are all doing well today, sweet friends. I really do hope that. And I suppose, kind of, welcome back to Chelsea News. But it's a little bit different today's video. Not in the same format. A chilled Sunday when it's raining outside. I'm feeling comfortable. I'm in the chair. I'm feeling good. And I do want to talk about, potentially, a large... Really big Erling Haaland update from a couple of things I wanted to talk about. Sorry, I'm cleaning my glasses because they are steamy and it's hot in my office. Of course, this is a one take type of video, so you'll have to forgive me if it's not clean cut like the usual Chelsea news videos. But man, I want to talk about this and it could be pretty big. It's a seemingly impossible transfer that I've been talking about it like that Erling Haaland to Chelsea this summer just seems so far-fetched and sensational, the money involved, the fact how Dortmund are just saying, no way, Jose, do you know what I mean? So much stuff that makes you think, this ain't happening, this can't happen. <sighs> Sorry, I've got a cold. But the truth is, maybe it can happen. And I'm not saying this is, this is nailed on, but there's a couple of things that sound like it could well happen. Now, I'm going to be citing a source shared by uh, Cy Phillips on uh, on Twitter. I'll leave a link to his, um, his Twitter page down in the description. I'm going to read through something that he's seen, heard from an Instagram account called CFC News Page. Now, I know what you're thinking. An Instagram account claiming they know Harland News. This isn't like you, Yan, to talk about. And no, it isn't. But the truth is... Um, I trust Sai. I speak to him a little bit, and he said he's vetted this account for a while, and he's, you know, he's confident with it, um, and, you know, he says everything before he's talked about. He's generally got right, which is cool, so I'm going to go through that. Uh, again, it's probably worth me mentioning. This is not me saying I have a, I have a source, or, uh, you know, it's important that we know the context of the information. I've also got uh, an email from a Dortmund fan, um, I believe his name is Michael, uh, let's just double check that, doobie 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 doobie. yeah, Michael, shout out Michael, I'll give you the gist of his email, I won't read it out, but that's very interesting, um, as well, and he seems like a, you know, a cool guy, so let's, let's, let's first, <laughs> let's look at this, cool, so this is Cy Phillips, Chelsea account, nice guy, uh, he, you know, offers links and stuff to what's happening with uh, Chelsea players, and he posted this. So let's have a read. Let's do it so you can see it. Erling Haaland update. I was told on the 17th of July that Chelsea have lined up a £130 million bid for Erling Braut Haaland to, quote, test the waters, end quote, of Beve Bear. Uh, which will be offered imminently. So on the 17th of July, he heard that that bid was imminent. I've reported on the uh, stories that there was a bid coming as well, you know, but I just sort of react to headlines, as you guys know. However, it is said that this offer would be kept in secret till Bever Bear finished the transfer of Daniel Malon so that Pears Fade don't take advantage of the bid. Um, that is true. And I believe... I believe Dortmund have uh, done it. Liverpool four realistic targets with Daniel Malon headed to Dortmund. Uh, so I believe the deal is done, and maybe this is why um, this is this is coming out now. I'm not getting too much. Yeah, Don Dortmund agree a deal to sign Daniel Malon. Um, Arsenal to cash in when Daniel Mallon completes Dortmund move. So yeah, he's he's done. This this deal seemingly is uh is done. Daniel Mallon to Dortmund. So maybe that's why this information is uh it's coming out now, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about me uh, sniffing into the mic there. The team Haaland, as Jan Algefjortoft says, are tempted by Chelsea's offer. So team Haaland being Erling's people, not Dortmund. They see Chelsea as a significant step in improving Haaland's game with the chances Tuchel's team creates uh, game after game. So, yeah, got created a lot of chances, Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea, for a, an elite striker to finish. They are also excited about the financial package Chelsea offers. Haaland can get his wages tripled, so 100k a week to 300k a week. Um, 
which kind of makes sense. Goals, you know, goals wins games. Goals come at a premium. That'd probably make him Chelsea's highest earner. While Alfie, who of course is Erling's father, and Raiola gets 40 million euros, which would be settled from personal checks by Roman Abramovich. Brackets. This will be accounted outside Chelsea's oh, transfer budget. So... <laughs> You kind of you got to get the gist of what that means. Um, they'll get a deal done, and they're like basically it will be almost like a tip in Alfie and Raola's pocket outside of the deal, outside Chelsea's accounts, which to me sounds like creative accountancy at best. But hey, you know they do them. Do you know what I mean? Um, consider it like yeah, a forty million pound tip. Like this isn't part of the purchase. This isn't tax. This is just you know have a few quid, mate. Boop, 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 boop. Jesus. Um, well, of course, regarding that, I'm only speculating. Of course. Um, right, so if the bid does get rejected by Borussia Dortmund, <laughs> then I'm told Chelsea will go in with another bid, which will be around 130, again the same, but 20 million in add on bonuses. The bonuses to include 5 million for winning the Premier League, 5 million for winning the Champions League, uh, 5 million for a fixed number of appearances at Chelsea, which you'd imagine would happen, and 5 million for a fixed number of goals scored at Chelsea. The feeling inside CFC is that they are confident they will land Erling Haaland this summer. Right, so, sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds exciting. Um, to me, I've no idea who this guy is. I'm literally, you know, talking about it because it's, it's gone around Twitter. So therefore, it's in the media. I react to media pieces of news, I suppose, or headlines and stuff. I'm in focus. I keep this ruddy webcam. Um, so I'm reacting to it. Sorry for snotting into the mic there. Also, li- listen, man, I want to talk about this email I got from this guy called My- uh, Michael. Shout out Michael, the Dortmund fan. He goes to watch, I believe, all the... Dortmund games and uh, he watches my channel because uh, he's a fan of uh, Erling Haaland, maybe Pulisic, oh, Thomas Tuchel as well because he liked him when he managed uh, Dortmund. So he's been watching my channel and keeping up with Chelsea and he enjoys it and he reached out um, to me and sent me a message and said, look, um, I don't know if you're interested in this, but this is something that I've noticed and you know it might be of useful information to you. And originally, I wasn't going to use this information because I said I thanked him for reaching out. It was cool. It was interesting, but um, I couldn't really sort of shoehorn it the way I work into a Chelsea news video because it's not, you know, a, a citable source, which I like to do. But because I'm talking about this this post that Cy Philip shared on, from an Instagram account, and uh, it's more of an informal video that I'm talking to you guys like this, it kind of makes sense and I can kind of sell it in. So basically, he he's watched Harlem play, and for the first time ever, I believe, in a Dortmund shirt, he looked, uh, in this pre-season game, completely pedestrian. And bearing in mind, uh, he's played pre-season games before, I believe, last summer. Um, and you, you generally have to go relatively hard in pre-season to get yourself up to fitness after your holiday uh, to be ready for the season. Um, and he was basically just pedestrian. He didn't go for the ball once or something like that. He was jogging around. He didn't go for any 50-50s. He just sort of jogged around for a bit and came off and was the most notable player doing that. So Michael's thoughts was like, this looks like a guy that's absolutely not committed to this club and wants to protect himself from any form of injury or, you know, issue that would perhaps hinder a transfer. Now, at first, I was like, oh, I don't know, I'm not sure there's not much in it, but fair enough, thanks for the email, I find it interesting. And now I'm thinking, if there is, an e- if there is a, a uh, transfer to happen, then yes. It's like any anything, when, when a player is playing, uh, paying, playing for a move uh, at the end of the season or something, they stop playing because they don't want to get injured because it's the biggest move of their lives, it's worth tens of millions of pounds. And if they, even if they like twist their ankle or do anything that makes them fail a medical... It, it's it could huge huge jeopardy and could ruin absolutely everything. So suddenly, I I thought yeah well this is noteworthy. Um, 
I uh, obviously it's something that you'd notice more at the game. What keeping an eye on uh, Erling, you know, making I don't know if there was footage recorded of that game or not. But even if there was, you know, you watching a player off the ball and uh, out of camera shot always offers so much more. I've found personally going to football games, and um, yeah, he was he was adamant. Erling just did look looked completely disinterested in that game and uh, in that sort of I don't know, didn't want to be combative or anything, which which perhaps is interesting now. So, Dortmund have signed Daniel Malon, and with that, some news has come out, or some information has come out somewhere, saying, yes, a bid's gone in, and they didn't want, they didn't want it to be public until Malon was done, and seemingly that's done, because, think about it, <laughs> if they know you've just been received a £130 million pound bid, and you're going to go ahead, the striker you buy, they're going to crank up at least, like, a, and they're going to add 10 million on that or something. Do you know what I mean? You've got loads of money. You can definitely pay more. We know for a fact you've just received a bid for a player you're probably going to sell for 130 million pounds. Do you know what I mean? So that it all makes sense. Whether it's true or not, I can't necessarily vouch for I can't guarantee. Do you know what I mean? But it does make sense. It makes sense that Erling's sort of disinterested in games. If true, it makes sense if... Now information starts coming out. Now they've signed a replacement over the line, and they can't be taken for a ride financially. And they, you know, they basically they come out of it looking the best they can without losing out money anywhere. And in fact, gaining an extensive, gargantuan amount of money from signing Erling Haaland this summer, <laughs> not next summer for the buyout clause. Anyway, I wanted to talk about it, reference the, the sort of piece of information, give you my thoughts, and also tell you about that that sort of message from that guy, Michael. Share with you guys, because I know a lot of people are stressed out about the striker situation, including myself. I'm not saying Chelsea are definitely signing Erling Haaland, but there's a chance that this bid has gone in and was wanted to be quiet until they, they completed their replacement signing, which they have done. So, pretty exciting stuff. Could be, potentially. Um, also, uh, um, it's worth saying, on this tweet, sided, journalist... Uh, Angelo Mangiati did loads of clapping emojis and he is a journalist who seemingly uh, is from Sky Sports so you know he agrees he agrees with Sai which is a which means it could be legitimate. He might be impressed that an account knows the same information as him. Anyway, let me know what you you think. Comment down below. Uh, subscribe to Football Therapy if you're new for daily updates, of course. Generally, I do high editing new style videos, but something a bit different now and again like this. Hopefully, you like these style of videos. All right, guys. Enjoy the football, and I'll see you later.